Household bleach serves two fundamental purposes. Firstly, it's commonly used in laundry to brighten and whiten white fabrics. Secondly, and perhaps most importantly, hypochlorite bleach plays a crucial role in cleaning and sanitizing environments. Bleach is a strong chemical disinfectant and whitening agent. It typically contains sodium hypochlorite as the active ingredient, which is responsible for its disinfectant and whitening properties. Household bleach is often used to disinfect surfaces and kill bacteria, viruses, and fungi. It's also used to whiten clothes and remove stains. It also helps to remove mold and mildew. And finally, to sanitize drains and toilets. During the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020, hypochlorite bleach proved invaluable in combating the spread of the deadly coronavirus. If you recall, the impact COVID-19 had globally dealt the world a great blow. In fact, it brought the world to her knees. So, if you share my perspective, it's crucial to always keep household bleach products readily available at home. This is why we have also come up with this video tutorial on the production of bleach at home. Greetings dear viewers and welcome back to our channel if you are a returning subscriber. If you are new here, this channel is dedicated to entrepreneurship development and self-employment and I represent your hosts, the 1001 Entrepreneurs. Kindly take this moment to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our latest content each time we publish them. Today's video tutorial is on the production of 5 liters of bleach at the comfort of your home. We will walk you through the functions of the individual chemicals used for the production, as well as the step-by-step -step guides to follow. Kindly pay attention so you don't miss out on important segments of the tutorial. Bleach is a very essential product needed in every home. And speaking of home essentials, we have just released a brand new ebook. It's a comprehensive do-it-yourself guide covering a total of 16 essential products for every household. Hello dear viewers, the long-awaited ebook is here. The 12 essential household product. A comprehensive do-it-yourself production guide premium edition, volume 1. This ebook is popular request from our numerous subscribers and viewers. Yes, you all made it possible. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much for engaging with our content each time we upload them. Thank you so much for all your love and support. We do not take them for granted. If you're just tuning in for the first time, this channel focuses on entrepreneurship development. We create videos and content that encourages enterprise development and self-development. Whether you're just starting your entrepreneurial journey or looking to take your business to a new height, our channel is your trusted companion. This ebook is just too loaded. Download your copy while it's still available. Follow the link in the video description and in the comment section to do so. We have blamed the government enough. Why not help yourself learn some skills to help you fetch some extra income? Also add values to the society and economy. God bless you. Here are the chemicals required for the production of household bleach. Casual hypochlorite, soda ash, caustic soda, and sterile water. Now, let's break down the functions of each of these chemicals in household bleach. Casium hypochlorite. This serves as the main bleaching agent. Casual hypochlorite provides the active chlorine necessary for the bleaching process, which helps in disinfecting, sanitizing, and removing stains from surfaces. When dissolved in water, it releases hypochlorous acid, which is a powerful oxidizing agent. This oxidizing action is what makes it effective in killing bacteria, viruses, and fungi, and breaking down organic compounds responsible for stains. Caustic soda. 
The primary function of caustic soda in household bleach is to act as pH adjuster. It's used to maintain a high pH environment in bleach solution, which enhances the stability and effectiveness of the hypochlorite ions. By increasing the pH, caustic soda prevents the decomposition of hypochlorous acid into chlorine gas and water, ensuring that the bleach remains potent for a longer period. It also helps in breaking down greasy and fatty substances, making the bleach more effective in cleaning. Soda ash. This acts as a water softener and a pH buffer. It helps in softening hard water, which can interfere with the cleaning action of the bleach. It precipitates out calcium and magnesium ions present in hard water as insoluble carbonates, thus preventing them from reacting with the bleach and reducing its effectiveness. It also helps in maintaining the alkalinity of the solution working together with the caustic soda to keep the pH high. Water Water serves as a solvent used to dissolve and dilute the chemicals, creating a homogeneous bleach solution that can easily be applied. It provides the medium in which the chemical reactions occur. Water ensures that the casual hypochlorite is evenly distributed and that the solution can be safely and effectively used for cleaning and disinfecting. Formulation for 5 liters production of household bleach. Calcium hypochlorite, also known as chlorine in the market, 250 grams. Soda ash, dense or light, 250 grams. Caustic soda, 125 grams. Sterile water or water from a clean source, 5 liters. Procedure Before we kick off with the procedure, here are important safety precautions to help you stay safe. 1. Remember to wear gloves, goggles, and face masks to prevent skin and eye irritation and inhalation of harmful fumes. 2. Work in a well-ventilated space to prevent inhaling chlorine gas. 3. Sodium hypochlorite and sodium hydroxide are corrosive and caustic. Handle them carefully to avoid spills and skin contact. 4. Please, never mix bleach with other cleaning products that contains ammonia, acid, or other household chemicals, as it produces toxic gases that are very harmful to health. 5. Label chemical containers correctly and store them safely out of reach of children and pets. 6. Adhere to tested recipes and instructions to avoid incorrect concentration. Now the procedure. Step number 1. Measure out 5 liters of water in a clean, transparent bowl. Step number two, add the caustic soda and stir very well to mix. This step is an exothermic reaction, meaning it gives off heat. So do not panic if you observe a temperature rise at this point. Step number 3. Add the soda ash. Stir very well to ensure it dissolves properly. 
patience is needed. Make sure all these are well dissolved before kicking off step number four. Step number four, add the calcium hypochlorite into the bowl. Note, this chemical is very coarse and has a very dense particles. So care and patience are needed when stirring to help it to dissolve faster. Five, sear very well again and cover for three to five days to enable the complete reaction to take place and also for the chlorine in the casual hypochlorite to be well extracted from the compound. Within these three to five days, ensure you sear the entire content at intervals, say every six hours. This is to further help those undissolved ingredients to dissolve. On the fifth day, or as the case may be, strain the bleach product into another clean and transparent bowl. Note, there will be some residue of calcium carbonate at the bottom of the first bowl. Don't throw this away. You can use it to sanitize and clean your toilet bowl. Step number seven. Allow the bleach to stay for another 24 to 48 hours. Then sieve it using a very fine mesh. Step number eight. Allow the filtered product to settle again before packaging into containers. Ensure you work in a well-ventilated environment to minimize exposure to fumes and gases produced during the mixing process. If you have trailed this far, kindly give us a like and drop some positive comments in the comment section. Your feedback means the world to us and they are greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do so. Do well to also watch a complimentary video on how to make thick bleach. The link will be in the comment section or the video description. Those who are interested in doing affiliate marketing for our ebooks make 30% commission on every sale. You can indicate your interest in the comment section and become enrolled. See you in our next video. God bless you.